Welcome to Key Largo, Florida, home to lots of sunshine, clear water, and good food. Let's take a look at four local restaurants. Let's begin with the Lazy Lobster. One noticeable thing about the Lazy Lobster is its great outdoor environment and friendly staff. You immediately enjoy the smell of their food from the minute you step in the building, which includes their warm rolls and banana bread that start off the meal. Their broiled seafood plate is an excellent entree option. The dish encompasses bright and natural flavors and is a great showcase to their fresh seafood. The tropical taste of their creamy conch soup is a great side for their whole fried snapper, which is flaky, buttery, but not greasy and could easily feed two people. One of my favorite dishes is the Lazy Lobster Tacos, which are crispy on the outside but creamy on the inside, and are great if you're looking to try something unique. Overall, the Lazy Lobster is a great stop in Key Largo. Our next stop is a 30 minute drive into Isla Morada. Known for their fun environment and feeding of the terrapin, welcome to Robbie's of Isla Morada. Robbie's has a super fun outdoor environment and has lots to do while you're there. Let's take a look at the food. Starting off with their loaded trailer trash burger. This burger is not for the faint of heart, but has excellent layering of textures and flavors. Their classic fish and chips is a brilliant choice. Their fish is light and crispy, and so are their fries. One final entree is their herb grilled chicken breast. This meal has great seasoning and depth of flavor. Overall, Robbie's is a great place to spend the day, but if you're going to feed the terrapin, make sure there's someone shooing the pelicans off of the dock or you will get eaten by them. Our next location is known for what they call Floribian cuisine, which is a fusion of foods found in Florida and the Caribbean islands like Jamaica. This is Arthur's Island Kitchen, a cute and relaxed place found in Key Largo. They have an excellent Cuban sandwich, which is great paired with their onion rings that are thick and crispy. Their traditional African Kalalu soup is herby and fresh. Its flavors are smooth and have a homey feel to them. My favorite part of the meal was the half-baked jerk chicken. The smoky flavors, spices, and citrus undertones are what make this dish. We finished this meal with a must-have while in the Florida Keys, key lime pie. The citrus of this pie is perfectly balanced and has a silky texture. While in Key Largo, you must go to Arthur's Island Kitchen. Our final destination, Alfredo's, was recommended to us by the locals. Serving an array of foods from breakfast to hibachi, there is bound to be something for everyone. Additionally, their low-key diner vibe cultivates a great family environment. If you're looking for a filling breakfast, look no further than the Mexican skillet. Loaded with all of the breakfast essentials and the perfect amount of spice, this meal is sure to satisfy you. The quality breading of their seafood basket makes it an excellent piece of their menu. The basket consists of scallops, mahi-mahi, and shrimp that all taste super fresh. This basket is a great way to sample different types of seafood. My favorite dish was the hibachi shrimp. The flavors of this dish had lots of depth and balanced each other out nicely. This dish is a great way to experience the local seafood in a new way. Alfredo's is a great stop any time of the day. Hi there, it's Cassidy. I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more food content. See you soon.